So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question, right? So any question that is short between one and three lines long, but then also provides either an expression or an equation is considered a simplified question um, in th the types of strategies that I teach my students. So what does that mean for me? That means I want to pay very close attention to this expression. And I want to think about, well, how do I simplify this expression? Well, I would simplify this expression by, first of all, making this 5 of 5 over 1. And then saying, well, how do I add these two fractions together? And in order to add the fractions together, I need to have a common denominator. So my common denominator here will be the 2x plus 1. So I want to multiply the fraction on the right, right, my 5 over 1. I want to multiply it by 2x plus 1 in the numerator and in the denominator, because by doing so, I end up with 1 over 2x plus 1 plus, uh, and I'll just distribute this across, why not, plus 10x plus 5 over 2x plus 1. Now I have a common denominator, which means I can add the fractions together and just keep the denominator. So my common denominator is to 2x plus 1. So that remains. And then my numerators, I'd have 10x. And then I have this 1 plus 5 here, which gives me a plus 6. Okay, and then from there, I can't simplify more. I mean, I could pull a GCF out of the numerator here. Um, but let's see if that's necessary. So the question says, which of the following is equivalent to the expression above for x is greater than 0? And basically, we've already found it. So we simplified our original, and what we end up with is 10x plus 6 over 2x plus 1, and that solution is choice D.